I am going to show you how I make my chicken alfredo. This recipe is super easy, it goes together quickly, and it is delicious. So you're going to need some butter, some cream cheese, milk, uh, some grated Parmesan cheese. Please don't use the stuff from the bottle that sits on the shelf. Use fresh cheese, it makes it taste so much better. Salt and pepper to taste, a little bit of garlic, a pound of chicken tenders, and I'm using eight ounces of fettuccine noodles. You could use more noodles if you wanted, but that makes a nice amount for just the two of us. Alrighty, let's get busy. The first thing I do when I start this recipe is I get my noodles cooking. So I have my eight ounces of fettuccine noodles and I'm gonna get those boiling. The next thing I do is cook the chicken. Now I have cut up my chicken tenders into um, fairly good sized cubes and I like to cook it that way. You could cook it however you wanted, but I throw it into a hot frying pan with a little bit of oil and cook those up. And as soon as they start looking like they're just about there, I add a little salt and pepper to taste, stir them up a little bit more, and it doesn't take any time at all. By the time I get that far, my noodles are just about done. I remove my chicken from my burner and then drain the noodles. Give them a quick rinse and I set those aside so that I can start working on the sauce. To make the sauce, you need to put a pan on a medium high burner and melt the cube of butter first. And I kind of stir that around until the butter is nicely melted. I also make sure that my um, cream cheese is nice and soft and then I add it, I cut it into cubes and then just add it. If it's cut up, it just seems to melt a little bit quicker. And then I kind of stir that around and cream cheese can be a little bit hard to melt or a little bit time consuming so I just kind of break it up and I keep stirring. Eventually it starts to look a little bit like this, kind of, kind of cottage cheese like in a way. But don't worry, it will all turn out just fine. Just keep stirring it. And pretty soon you'll have a nice, thick, creamy sauce. It gets a little bit more smooth. The more I cook it, the more I stir it. If it seems like it's going too fast, you can adjust your heat up or down or you need to make it a little bit uh, quicker. Now I add in about half of the milk. And now you can really see that the sauce starts to come together. And when it looks nice and smooth like this, I add the other half of the milk or the rest of it. Now, if you like your sauce uh, thinner, you can always add a little bit more milk. That's really up to you, but this is usually the way that I do it. Now is the time I add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And I add some garlic. Now you can add what you want. I add somewhere probably between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon. As you see, I didn't measure. I just kind of put in what I think is probably close to that. Stir that all up. And now look at your sauce. See, it's so pretty. All right, there we go. We add the last part is the Parmesan cheese. And you stir that up until the cheese melts. At this point, you could turn your heat off because what the, the warmth of the sauce will melt the rest of the cheese. Now it's time to serve it up. Put some pasta on the plate, cover it with as much sauce as you would like, top it with some chicken, and your dinner is ready. You could serve it with a salad, maybe some French bread, and it is really yummy. Thanks for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy my content and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.